Hello there. No significant changes to the weather pattern across Europe at the moment. There's a large area of high pressure influencing the story through central Europe and it's allowing clear skies through the night fog and frost an issue. Weather fronts uh, moving their way across Scandinavia has bring some wet and windy weather and that is now moving its way through Russia. Also had an area of low pressure that's been influencing the story across southern Italy. That's now starting to ease away, so an improving story here. Now east of that it's fine and quiet across Turkey, across Greece, stretching up into the Balkans as well. A better picture into Italy. Fog and frost an issue across the Alps and into Germany and France. A good deal of dry, settled weather across Spain and Portugal at the moment. Weather fronts pushing into the northwest of the UK and they'll gradually move its way into western parts of Scandinavia, so across Norway through the course of Monday into Tuesday. This is a story for Tuesday, not that much in the way of significant change in actual fact. And this weather trend is going to set to stay with us for much of the week. So temperatures perhaps a little subdued across Central Europe for the time of year. London and Paris will stay dry. We'll can pick up a few sharp showers into Madrid through the middle part of the week. A lovely week ahead for Rome. It does look as though the cold weather and the snow is set to continue for Moscow with temperatures just above freezing. Hello there. We've got a storm moving its way through the Arabian Sea at the moment. More on that in just a moment. But first of all, let's take a look at what's happening in Africa. Area of low pressure still moving through the Mediterranean that's going to be affecting parts of Tunisia and uh, parts of Syria. Now, elsewhere, we've got some sharper showers just south of the equator. We've also got some showers moving their way through the interior of South Africa, and they'll be a bit of a nuisance on and off over the next couple of days. So they're the major issues across Africa at the moment. If you take a look at the city forecast, you can see there's not going to be that much in the way of significant change. Still the threat of a shower into Cape Town on Tuesday, but sunshine and warmth returning by the end of the week. Now, it does look as though we'll see the risk of some sharp showers into Casablanca from Wednesday onwards, some of those quite heavy with the winds picking up as well. Across the Middle East, then, it's largely fine and quiet for most. We've seen a light shamal blowing, bringing some lifted dust in recent days. Here's the storm I was talking about, moving its way across the Arabian Sea, pushing towards Somalia during Sunday. So on Monday, it'll be across the south of Yemen. It's going to bring some rough seas, certainly some heavy rain. There is an uncertainty as to how far inland that storm is going to push, but certainly it's worth bearing in mind and pointing out to you. So city forecast, though, keep this dry, settled theme going for many and the shamal is likely to ease as we go through the week. Hello there. Let's take a look at the weather forecast then for South America. If we start off with a satellite picture, it shows that yet again there's another weather front down across the southern tip of Chile. And it's also picking up the shower cloud that's developing through the course of the day across Brazil. Now, some of that will be quite intense. That said, though, there is also a good slice of dry, sunny weather. And I'll come back to that in just a moment. Let's focus on the rain, though, across parts of uh, Venezuela into Colombia and into northern Brazil. But central, southern Brazil, along with Paraguay, Uruguay, down into northern Argentina, has settled sunny with those temperatures into the mid to high 20s in places. The same too for northern Chile, a little bit of wet and windy weather down to the south, as you can see quite clearly. So the story is not really going to change that much over the next few days. We keep a good deal of dry, settled weather in the forecast with those temperatures into the high 20s, possibly low 30s. As for Mexico, it's fine and quiet. Central America, well, really it's across the east coast where we'll see the heaviest of the rain affecting Nicaragua, uh, in particular El, San El Salvador as well. A few sharp showers across the Caribbean too. Um, not out of the ordinary at this time of year. And those showers are expected to continue for the next few days. As you can see by the city forecast, San Jose will continue to see relentless rain. Hello there. High pressure dominates across a good portion of North America at the moment. Northern and central plains, quiet, settled and sunny. But it's this mass of clouds, it moves across the Great Lakes, that's going to bring some snow to parts of Canada. We could see as much as 20 centimetres in Quebec before the system clears through. Now to the south of that weather front, it's warm and sunny. To the north and west, it's still sunny, but it's noticeably colder. Now at the same time, across the Pacific Northwest into British Columbia, 
out into Oregon, we've got more cloud and rain arriving after a brief lull in the weather story on Saturday. So there will be some snow to higher ground. There'll be some rain close to the coast. Nothing particularly significant, but it has been quite unsettled just recently, hasn't it? And that dry, settled theme continues into California. Further inland, the high pressure dominates the dry story with us over the next few days. So there will be some rain, although nothing particularly heavy across parts of Vancouver and Seattle, San Francisco and LA stay dry and quiet. So there's that snow I was talking about moving its way across the Great Lakes into Canada. Ahead of it into the east coast of uh, United States, we'll see dry, settled weather conditions, quite warm and sunny down through Florida still. So a contrast with the feel of the weather. You can see that quite clearly in our city forecast. Minus one for Montreal on Tuesday. Hello there. Let's take a look at the forecast then for South Asia. If we start off with a satellite picture, you can see we've got this disturbance that's been tracking its way through the Bay of Bengal. It's expected to bring some heavy rain across Sri Lanka and eventually into the southeast of India, affecting Tamil Nadu during Monday into Tuesday. So we'll keep an eye on that one for you. Elsewhere, it's largely fine and quite a good deal of dry weather actually in the forecast. We've got some wintry showers to the tops of the mountains close to Pakistan and Africa. Afghanistan, but elsewhere a good deal of sunshine with temperatures into the low 30s. Now for Central Asia, it's colder, much colder. Kazakhstan seeing a daytime max of minus six degrees. There will be some snow showers later in the week here. That cold air continues and then that means that we've got the snow across the mountains in Afghanistan and Pakistan. Elsewhere though, fine and quiet. This is the story on Monday. You can see that storm system starting to push on to Sri Lanka and eventually into the southeast of of India as well. Ahead of it, there could be a few isolated showers across the Himalayas. Nothing particularly significant here. So this is the story then for the next five days. We keep those sharp showers going into Colombo. Now that cold air across Kazakhstan, that is going to stay for much of the week before we start to see an improvement into Tashkent with some showers on Friday. Hello there. Forecast for Australia and New Zealand coming up shortly. But first of all, let's start off in Asia, where it's a largely quiet weather story at the moment because high pressure is sitting across China and keeping things pretty quiet. Now, as the high is drifting its way steadily eastwards, it's allowing a southerly wind to take over. So temperatures not too bad either. Few scattered showers are inland across China, but those temperatures will hold up into Beijing and Seoul and they'll sit at 19 degrees in Tokyo, Japan. Not the extreme warmth that we had just a few days ago, but nevertheless, 19 is very pleasant indeed. Good deal of dry weather across Vietnam as well at the moment and the Philippines. Yes, we are picking up some pretty intense showers into Indonesia and some of those will continue on and off throughout the week. But many of our major cities stay dry, settled and sunny for our week ahead. Let's take a look at Australia then. Again, it's a relatively settled story at the moment. There's some sharp showers on Monday across parts of New South Wales and Victoria, and they are easing away on Monday, but they will continue to be a threat. They will gradually drift their way steadily eastwards, heading towards New Zealand. But on Monday for New Zealand, it's a showery story for both the North and the South Island. Those showers should remain fairly isolated. So our city forecast as we go through the week shows the potential for some showers Tuesday into Wednesday in Wellington. Good deal of dry weather elsewhere and pleasantly warm with it.